Hey everyone, welcome back to Key Ranger Workshop. In this episode, I'm going to show you the new version of the Core PA5X MIDI Revoicer software. This is version 1.1. This is the second version I've put together. Um, when you click on the download, download link and you download that zip file, you can extract it and you will get your setup uh, file that you're just going to run through normal uh, Windows PC uh, setup procedure, super simple, and you'll get this icon that's your uh, program that you installed. Okay, so I already done that and have to do it again, so I'm just gonna click on that. I got some files here ready too. Uh, let's look at this quick uh, image that I put together of all the new features. Uh, some cool new features on the user sounds. We got some lyrics. We got some sent to PA5X messages. The new look on a MIDI monitor, and a really cool, cool feature called Auto Revoice. Okay, so let me uh, dive into this thing and tell you more about it. I'm going to start the program here, and there it is. Nice little program, super simple. By the way, thank you all for uh, reaching out and uh, suggesting uh, uh, what to add, some cool features. A lot of these uh, new features in version 1.1 came from you guys suggesting, let's try this, let's do this. So I've, uh, to my knowledge, the best that I could, I've implemented those changes and now we have it in this new uh, version. Um, so let's go look at the file menu first. I've added open recent files. These are uh, the recent files I just opened. There's max 10 that you can have. I can always increase that if needed, but I think 10 should be enough for, for normal use. I've added save MIDI file as uh, option. Uh, it's the same one that you have a button right here. It does the same thing and you get your exit. Um, the MIDI monitor has a brand new look to it, okay? Let me just uh, try something super simple. I'm gonna select my MIDI input right here, and then I'm gonna hit start. Let me just play a quick note on my keyboard. There it is. I'm gonna try to uh, hit upper one key or a button. There he goes again, on and off. And that's what the um, MIDI monitor does. Just kind of a little bit cleaner. It's got a hex codes to it too, a time message, and uh, it's a, I think a little bit better looking too. Let me just clear that. Okay, that's the mini monitor. The next thing we have here, it's uh, sent to PA5X. I use this a lot when I build this program for uh, troubleshooting purposes. So I said, you know what, I'm just gonna leave it there for, for anybody if they wanna try messing with it and see what cool things they can turn on and off using a MIDI cables on their PA5X, right? Why not? So. We're gonna select uh, the MIDI out. I have this, you might have something totally different depending on what cables you use. Uh, now let me turn on my live feed from my PA5X and I'm gonna go into my settings right there and I'm gonna hit MIDI and then I'm gonna go MIDI in. So if you look here on my MIDI in tab, I've had channel 15 for control, and that's what this is going to do. I'm going to send a control message to my PA5X, okay? A list of these control messages is in your manual. I think there's about 20 or so. Uh, don't quote me on that, all right? So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to say, hey, I'm sending um, MIDI output is this. I'm going to use channel, not 16, I'm going to use channel 15. Uh, wherever you have this uh, control selected on whatever channel, that's the channel you're going to put in here. I have it on channel 15, so I'm going to put 15 right here. Now, program change, I'm going to select, let's do, uh, let's do 64, because I know 64 is your keyboard set one. Right now, if you look on my PA5X live feed, my keyboard set one, it says electric piano, but it's not selected because I have keyboard set two selected. But I'm gonna send this cool message, uh, six, four. Six, four is keyboard set one, six, five is two, six, six is three, and so on. So let's see if that does change. There it is. See how that works? And I got a little, uh, 
pop-up message that it was successful. Let me go back here. If I want to do keyboard set 3, I'm just going to put, instead of 64, I'm going to use 66. And that should auto-select the 3, okay? So why I did this is I was trying to um, have a program auto-call keyboard sets that is saved inside the MIDI file. After you devoice it and you like it, I was going to have a cool feature to auto pick a keyboard set for you. It's a request from one of the subscribers. Uh, I spent a few days on it trying to really get it to work, but it's kind of, it's almost impossible. I'm not gonna say I'm giving up. I'm gonna try again to crack this code, but it's, uh, it's easy when you're using MIDI and messages. It's super easy as you can see. But once you try loading files, I, either, I even wanted to, um, I've tried, putting these control program changes on right off the bat inside the MIDI file, but it's impossible, guys. Uh, if you look how Korg did it, they built a program called a songbook. So when you save a songbook, you're telling that songbook, hey, I have this MIDI file, but I also want you to use your internal program to recall the keyboard sets, to recall uh, you know, all the other effects, things like that, and trying to do that through MIDI file, it's kind of, it's getting hard, um, you know, it's, it's, I've tried my best, but I didn't give up. Uh, so, so I left this um, cool little um, send to PA 5X window for you guys, if anybody wants to mess with it, hey, why not, right? Okay, so that's what that does. Now, the next uh, cool feature I've added, it's called Manage Lyrics. This cool window pops up. All right, so you can add your own lyrics. And what this does is saves it as a text file. It's not gonna uh, place these lyrics in your MIDI file. It does not do that. It just saves it as a text file. Think of it as a notepad or a word program, right? The only difference here is I can really go and um, let me just pick the lyrics online, something quick. I'm gonna paste it, there it is cool little Bob Marley song and uh, the cool part about it if you guys are like me wearing glasses then you can increase the, the size so you can really uh, make some changes add things and so on and then you can save it here as a text file but you can also open a text file and make changes and then save it all right and once you save it place it in the same uh, folder on your PA5X where your MIDI file is then you can just uh, recall this text lyric file uh, when you're in a lyrics window on your PA5X and you hit the shift key, you hold it down and you touch the uh, uh, screen with your other finger. That's how you can recall these quickly. Um, so that's what the uh, lyrics editor does. Uh, it was easy for me to program and I said, you know, somebody might find this super useful, so I left it in there, okay? Um, the user sound, let's go open that up. We had this in a version 1.0, okay? But, let me just turn this off for now. But the cool new feature here is you can import, right? These will come when you install this program. I added these for you just to give you kind of a, a first look and a, a quick little demo. You can edit any of these saying, hey, I want to call this whatever, uh, guitar Z, and then uh, hit save, and that's saved right there, okay? You can export this list. When you build it, when you add more sounds through this feature, add sounds, let me just show you in case you guys have not seen the first video. I'm going to say user1 is the location of this sound. Sound name is uh, guitar distortion and it's located at and I'm going to show you here I go to my user sounds and uh, let's pick this one contra live so that one is 121064000 so I'm just going to change that to this contra live and it's 
zero 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 okay or you can just type zero that will work too hit save there it is now uh, if I open this thing again there it is now let's say we if you open that you'll see that I saved it let's say I have another version 1.2 and you guys have already built all of your sounds and you have exported everything uh, using this export feature it just exports it as an Excel file right but new version comes out and you're like hey man I don't want to build that same list again uh, this is what import button does it's just gonna ask you where is your Excel file that you can load so I'm gonna show you a quick little uh, uh, sample there it is see these are the ones I built um, that I can quickly recall okay uh, it does not override your other ones that you added manually it will just join to that same uh, group and build it uh, you expand it even more okay so again version 1.2 I've added the import feature right here um, to be easier to move to new versions of the, this program okay now let's um, open up uh, MIDI from our recent file and I'm gonna pick something like this okay so one of you guys reached out to me and said hey I worked on one song and uh, you didn't have a file name of the uh, of your MIDI file in the program so I didn't know when I came back I didn't know what song I was working on so I've added that file name right here on the top so that's there now um, but then on top of that uh, this gentleman said hey you know I changed these sounds and I saved the file and then when I reopen it, they're back to the select PA sound X. Okay, that has been fixed. Now you can just go and open it, and it will be exactly how you left it, how you saved it. Okay, so that feature has been fixed. Um, on top of that, another request came in hey, can you put an auto revoice feature? So, what this does is I put a database together that it's going to match the general MIDI instrument. I'm going to match it to the closest sound on a PA5X, the factory sound. So let's see what this thing does. Even though I have selected some of these sounds already, I'm going to hit auto revoice and it's going to go through these and pick the PA5X sound and it's going to update this column super quick. So watch this. There it is. Easy like that. And now you can hit file and save it and it will be exactly like this in your PA5X. The best part here is uh, if you go in, it's automatically gonna give you that same category, the trumpets, or if I go to this bass, channel two, I'm also in that bass category. So this speeds things up by a lot, and it was a great suggestion, and I had fun uh, coding this and uh, making it work. Uh, some of the bugs I cleared up from the ver first version of this program was uh, there was an issue saving a GM sound and uh, user sound different volume. Okay, that's got that's been fixed. It works just fine now. Whatever you adjust on this program is going to be hundred hundred percent. And I've checked it multiple times exactly like this in your PA5X. Okay. And now you can also recall um, songs. See that? And it recalls exactly how I selected it before. Okay? So that's working too. Uh, another bug I fixed is if you hit save here, or if you go to file menu, hit save MIDI file as, and you put it on a USB stick, and you play it in your PA5X, it was playing fast. It was playing, uh, the tempo was getting lost. So I have fixed that. It's 100% um, matching the original tempo and everything. I've also added this little uh, indication here when you open a file, what the tempo is and the signature, okay? So that has been also uh, fixed. The volume was normalized, uh, control changes, the number seven, if you guys are familiar with that, those are for your volumes. I have gone through that and checked everything. Um, 
yeah, there's quite a quite an update on the second version. Um, you know, I have some more ideas down the road that I'm going to implement. So stick around. Make sure you're subscribed if you haven't, and uh, hit the like button. Uh, but this is it. This is really now uh, super fast, super simple, new features. I hope you like it. Again, I'm building this for, for this PA5X community. Uh, it's free. It's not, it doesn't cost anything. And um, let me know. Leave some comments below. Uh, how do you like it? How do you use it? I really want to know where do you guys use this. Uh, you, you do need your MIDI cables to run this. And uh, if you want a live like here if you hit play on a keyboard it's um let me just show you here i'm going to select my midi i can play it on my keyboard it is now it's playing and uh it's a cool little program hope you like it reach out uh if you get some some more ideas and uh thank you for watching